What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is a deal. Who doesn't like a good deal? If you're looking to get a phone, kind of that mid-tier to upper tier type phone, the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, Galaxy S20 FE also, it's as it's known as, is on sale right now on Amazon for 100 bucks off. You can get it for $599.99. Remember, this has a Snapdragon 865, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. It is the unlocked version of the phone and you can use it on basically any network, especially here in America. I'll link it down below if you wanna pick it up. Next up is all about Samsung's next Galaxy Watch that'll come out this year, 2021. Um, it's Galaxy Watch Active 3, Galaxy Watch 4, we'll see what it ends up being. But regardless, this is pretty big and it has to do with the software that it runs. You can see from this tweet right, from, right here from Ice Universe saying Samsung's new watch will use Android to replace Tizen. And if you didn't know, Tizen is the operating system that Samsung watches have used for a while at this point. There's been rumors that it was gonna switch over to Android. How is this going to affect everything? I would still assume that we're gonna get very good app compatibility, that all the, all the apps that you probably use now on your, your Galaxy Watch probably will carry over to the Android side. The big thing that we should see on this that hasn't been on, it's actually two things. You should see Google Assistant, so you should be able to say, hey, blah, 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 I won't say it because I don't want everybody to go off and mine. And talk to your watch that way. That's a great thing. It's one thing I, for me that's kind of been a little bit of a turnoff in terms of Galaxy watches is you didn't have Google Assistant. The other thing we should see is native Google Maps or Waze support uh, so that you have maps right on your watch. This is good. I think it's in the general sense of uh, compatibility and support, app support, it should be better. So those are two things I can think right off the top of the bat that would be better. Plus you should also have a bigger app library. You're gonna get a mixture of probably apps that were on Tizen and now the Android side as well. Last story of the day has to do with basically a lot of Android phones. So you might wanna check. I'm gonna be talking about specifically uh, the Galaxy uh, phones right now. I, this phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and the Galaxy S21 Ultra, but I know it's on other phones as well. It's, I think it's on like the, the Note 9 and S9 and like basically any phone. So what I'm gonna show you, check. And uh, if you don't have it, check your uh, Google Play Store updates and then check from there afterwards. So first thing, on Galaxy, this is specific to this phone, but on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, when you would start a video, especially if you didn't have YouTube open on the, the small screen here, I'll, I'll just show you, I'm gonna close all my apps and then I'm gonna open up my YouTube app and I'm going to just search, uh, you know, 4K, 4K videos, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna play this, uh, I'll, I'll play this 4K video, it's playing right now. Let me turn the volume down. I'm gonna hit the three dots, and before it would only play in 720p, but look at this. I don't know if you can see that, it literally says 2160 HDR at that, so it's now playing 4K HDR videos on the front, but remember, on the front, it would only do 720p, and then you'd open up, and it'd still be 720p until you closed the video. So that's what I'm basically talking about, is YouTube itself, not even just the front screen, but YouTube itself and all these phones can now play 4K HDR videos. Before it would max out at 1440p, and now maxes out at 2160p. Actually, let me check 8K. I didn't even check that. Let me see if 8K works. Don't even know. Maybe you'll play in 8K. Let's check that out. Here's an 8K video. I don't think it does. I think it's just 4K. Uh, yeah, so 2160 H up to HDR is the max video settings you will now get on. I know a lot of the Galaxy phones, I believe other Android phones as well, so just go in there and check, but definitely a bunch of, of Galaxy phones. It could be, it doesn't just have to be the Z Fold 2, so open up your YouTube app. I got my video loaded up, play this one, hit the three dots, 720p, there you go. Plays it in 2160, and as long as you have a good connection, it's gonna play it beautifully. So obviously your screen, most likely on your Android phone, because I think Sony's the only company that makes 4K screens, is, good, is not a 4K screen. These Galaxy phones aren't 4K screens, but 
it's going to give you the best resolution that it can offer at up you know 4k downscaled to uh you know a 2k plus display so very very cool that we finally had this have this uh, iphone has had it for a very long time so it's good that it's finally with android i don't know why it hasn't been with us thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day my question out to you guys is are you going to start watching your videos in 4k on your 2k plus display or maybe you have a 1080p plus display let me know in the comments down below i definitely plan on, i'll push it out i'm not worried about the bandwidth i get unlimited data with my well i should say unlimited data with my carrier i have enough i have unlimited data at home i pay for that to have to to be able to do that and so i'm not worried about the bandwidth let me know about you guys thanks for watching have a great day have a great start of your weekend i'll see you tomorrow and two additional two more videos tomorrow as well as i do every day and i'll see you guys down the road